It is budget time at City Hall. The big number hanging over the heads of officials, $91 million. That's how much in the hole Toronto is this year. And without some help from the other levels of government, that hole could have a huge impact on people who need affordable housing. We are reaching the point that will probably come this year where if we don't get some support from the other governments in a meaningful way to help us in particular with the repair of social housing, there will be units where we have no choice but to close them. Tory says Toronto taxpayers have put in a billion dollars of their property taxes into community housing and that he isn't willing to make them pay any more. The mayor did mention there is what he calls a glimmer of hope. The federal government will allocate some of its infrastructure budget for repairs to community housing buildings. And repairs are sorely needed. Magda Garber Selassie is live at one building on Eglinton near Markham. And Magda is not just the inside of that apartment, the outside is also crumbling. Yeah, I mean, just take a look at the exterior wall of this building. Now, it has been in this condition for far too long. Back in April of 2015, the brick facade of that building came crashing down. People at the time told us it sounded like an earthquake. Now, luckily, no one was injured, but this building has been in this condition all this time. It still hasn't been repaired, and that's really the, the state of many TCH buildings across the city. Now, earlier today, I was across the city in the Jane and Finch area uh, where there are plans to close down about 134 townhouses uh, in the Fir Grove Crescent area, and TCH says that the buildings are too far damaged, that they cannot repair them, so that they, the plan is to close them down. But people who live there aren't too happy about that idea. Before, you have dogs urinating, hmm. people urinating in the floor. So you've lived here the whole time, since 86? Since 1986, Okay. Yeah. This is a closet. Edna Rose takes pride in her apartment and her garden. But one look outside and you can see her building is in desperate need of repairs. According to the TCH, the damage is too much to fix. They're saying that they're going to tear these buildings down yes. and ho hope that they get money to rebuild them. Yes. Do you think that will happen? No. If they can't find the money to repair it, how are they going to rebuild it? And after they're going to send you here, they're going to send some people there, they're going to send us all over the place. The mayor says, if there isn't funding that comes through from the province or from the federal government that affordable housing units, some of them may have to be closed down. What do you think about that? That is rubbish. What he's talking is rubbish. Talking like this, you're only hurting people. People are poor. If we, were, if we had money, housing wouldn't exist because everybody would have a house for themselves and we would be able to pay market rent. Now, Edna Rose has been working with the group ACORN to speak out on this issue, and uh, she is, again, against moving out of the area. She wants her unit and those buildings to be repaired. But as you can see, there is a long list of buildings on the TCH list that need repairs. When I come back at 6.30, I'll tell you what the plans are for this building. Yeah, a long list right across our city. Thank you, Magda. Now, Mayor Tory, welcome members of the Federal Liberal Caucus to budget meetings today. One Toronto MP says they are making commitments to housing, but the TCH boss says they've got a long way to go. So we're, you know, we're, we're optimistic that um, we'll continue to deliver on housing. There, there have already been um, some historic commitments um, on both transit and housing. There has been some money that's been contributed for 2017. It's, it doesn't anywhere near meet the need that we have, but uh, what I find is with, with each meeting, there's a, a little bit more traction and a little bit more success, so uh, I remain hopeful. So no. Now, as for the province, they say they remain committed to improving housing in Ontario, pointing to the Promoting Affordable Housing Act, part of which allows cities to require affordable housing as part of any new developments.